All right, so let's make a tape loop with the pyramid. So I have this set up to play the Volca FM. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use a concept called micro-stepping. So it's gonna be going like super fast and those are just gonna be getting really wild. So I'm gonna set the BPM first of all at 300 BPM. You can do that just by tap tapping as quickly as you can. It can go higher, but um, just when you tap as fast as you can, it stops at 300. Um, and then I'm going to go into my track length and I'm gonna bring it all the way down. And then let's go into step mode. I'm just gonna hit play. You see it's going crazy fast. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding notes in. And um, because we'll be pitch shifting the tape loop, I'm actually just going to um, uh, do like C and G and then the octave up C. So everything, it, when it goes, when it gets pitch shifted, it'll still be in key, mostly. I mean, it's not perfect, but um, it'll be close. So here, there's the C. And the G and the octave up C. And I'm actually going to put that over here too. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to record this onto the tape loop. Okay, so now we have our tape loop. Um, now I'm gonna plug the Volca FM in. Okay, cool. And then we'll actually just make a new track. It'll be the same thing. Let's go back. Oh no, oh, maybe, there we go. Okay, cool. And we will go to tracks and we will Actually, turn that first one off. Keep the second one. Go to live. Let's just record something. Oh, wait. Oh. Change my length to like three bars. Oh, we can bring the BBM back down. 100's fine. Okay. I'm just gonna add some effects. I'm gonna put a scale on here, put it into C major, and then I'm gonna add some random, so it'll be different. Change it to pitch, do like 10% on each. Okay, now if I play. All right, so you get the picture. So now let's make the track for um, the tape loop. So make a new track. I'm gonna change the channels to CV. Uh, using pitch. So now I play this and I'm going to play the notes and it should um, adjust the speed. Okay, cool. So it's working. So now what I'm going to do is just Go into step mode, and I think I have a, it's going to be a one bar loop, but I'll make it oop, a two bar loop. And I will go into step mode. Or where am I right now? It doesn't matter. It's just going to be a low note. Punch that guy in there. Punch a high note in. And why I'm not really caring about what notes they are is because I'm going to go to the effects and I'm gonna put a uh, random on it. So I'm gonna change it to pitch and I'm just gonna like put it all, both of them all the way up, uh, 100%. So now.
how, how to make the tape loop sound a little bit better is we'll add an effect. If you add reverb or um, delay or anything, uh, it'll make it sound really great. That's how you make a tape loop using micro stepping with the square pyramid. Thanks for watching.